everybody, my name is King. What up, it's an amazing day. Of course, today we are here with some For Honor. This is Year 8, Season 3. It has just commenced today. So we're going to be taking a look at everything little, big, and in between. If you guys are new, subscribe today. Join the Aztec Empire. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below if you're a new person. I'll gladly reach out and say what's up. In this season, they have introduced a lot of big and small changes. Some quality of life stuff. A brand new battle pass. A new legacy pass. A free event pass for the next 20 days. A brand new event. Of course, it also does come with a brand new execution and illustrious outfit. And a brand new hero outfit for the warlord called Goodmunder the Great which is what you're looking at now. Without further ado, let's get straight on into today's update. Now, taking a look at this, right, real quick, you guys will notice a lot of these portraits have secretly been updated. The majority of these look really good. I've heard, supposedly, the Outlanders did not get a new portrait, and I believe Varangian Guard did not get a new portrait. Everybody else, though, did get an updated look to their character design. Looks really cool. For a majority of these, I feel like Valkyrie... Uh, without the horns is very cursed, right? She does get a free ornament when you buy her, which is her horns. So to not include them, I feel like it's pretty cursed. It looks weird to me. Um, majority of these, though, like, it sucks to say, but Highlander looks great. Black Prior looks really good. Of course, a lot of the knights, I think, look really well. And Griffin is just kind of here. The samurai as well. I feel like are very animated. Like, their, their poses are really cool. I like how Nobushi is in her hidden stance. That's really nice. And then Hidokiri is leaning forward speaking of which let's take a look at the brand new illustrious outfit this is the spirit of the wolf we get like an aurora borealis look and then we also get like a spectral wolf hidden in the clouds which looks really cool look at that colors for this is pretty cool i do really like the ornament on the shoulder you guys can see here beautiful i love the colorways and of course i will change depending on which color for the outfit you're going with but the blue color on the wolf just looks great right we also do get a brand new execution called Mjolnir's Light. Let's take a look at that now. Dang! I love how they made it look. Dang, and she just drops it too. And this is a perspective. No peace. That's crazy. Reminds me a lot of the Rampage of Ragnarok. Bro, we need this execution back. This is for uh, the Wrath of Jormungandr event. I need it back, bro. I need it back. This is one of my favorite executions ever. Without further ado, let's move on straight into the battle passes. Also, during the faction war, um, it sucks to say the Vikings won again for the 40th time in a row. All right, I'm part of the samurai, so I'm a hater. For the Song of Goodmunder, right? This is our event pass right here. This is free for the next 20 days. You get 30 different tiers fit with a bunch of different rewards without further ado let's get straight on into this we have the xp boost ticket of course very important if i do say so we had a battle outfit which is called the viking strength really cool for majority of these this is like a black and red colorway so for the last battle pass weapons they look phenomenal right for stuff like ocelot look at that i mean that is just beautiful man yeah it really does match with last season's battle pass and to get all of these colors for free feels really good so you know be on the lookout for that stuff y'all looks really nice right you do get a battle outfit for each individual faction over to the next page it continues on you get some salvage and then it goes into the ornaments viking glory really cool it's fitted with like four different gems which do change color depending on your different outfit styles All right you guys can see the top is like turquoise for this the bottom is blue there's some blood on the blade and then the rest of it will actually change color majority of the time so it looks really cool right you guys can see it's yellow right there over here it's like a gray and then right here it is red so it looks really nice for each individual faction it is the same so um you know there's that i think that's usually what they do for the event passes right most of these ornaments will stay the same for each faction and then in the individual battle pass sometimes they will change we got an xp boost token and then we got the four valkenheim idol effect now they break this up into the next couple of pages, but you get a idol effect for, these are all the same, of course, right? You will get a emo effect for all of the individual factions, and then it'll move over to some steel. You will get the execution effect, which kind of explodes like that, makes a loud noise. Maybe you'll see it here better. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and then for the Vikings. Ah, nice. That is pretty cool, y'all. That is it for the Song of Goodmunder event pass. Moving on into the actual battle pass for Year 8 Season 3. 
We get the no enemies execution right off the bat. So nonchalant. Let me see that one more time. Wow, that looks crazy. One more time. Wow, that looks crazy. For the perspective too. Mmm. Ah, that's crazy, bro. That's disrespectful. Moving up, right, we get a outline emblem customization. We have our 10% battle points boost for the remainder of the season and a seven day champion status, which I believe is like extra XP and steel and like rewards at the end of each uh, match or something like that. I'm not sure. XP boost, we get some steel. We get a symbol, right? I'm going to skip over a lot of like the embosings and symbols and stuff like that. These are the colors. This is white, uh, very light gray and like a tan color. Which doesn't stand out too much. Um, it, it's very simplistic for these colors, but, you know, just in case you're into that stuff, here you go. This is the battle outfit, Invincible Protector. This is like a purple, an orange, and a tan color, I believe. Yeah, um, not the best. Not the best. I'm not the biggest fan. We're moving on straight into our first weapon set for the Vikings. This is the Invincible uh, Kvoti, I believe, right? So I remember they mentioned in the Battle Pass. A lot of the different factions will get a different animal depending on what those uh, factions or like empires or whatever historically believed to be significant. So you'll notice that the Vikings get a wolf with uh, bloody fangs, which looks really cool, and a red color with like steel running through the rest of it, and then a red gem. A lot of it's very faded, very battle worn, uh, which I believe makes sense historically. Uh, but for the rest of this, right, you get the wolf, and I think it looks really cool. Almost has like vampire ears too, like a vampire bat. Pretty cool. I like this. A lot of these weapon sets are really cool. Some of them are pretty uh, simplistic, I feel like, right? So I feel like they could have gone out and done just a little bit more for a couple of these. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like that, like the wolf right there. I see the vision, but, you know, um, the execution of it, no pun intended, is just not the best, I feel like. A lot, of, a lot of these Vikings, just very like dull red, right? That is pretty cool. I like that. I like the shield. They don't really miss with the shields though. That's the thing. The pommel, I will say I like the pommel for this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Invincible Motor. That was the last one. Uh, next up, we have the Invincible Saga, right? This is uh, Imbosing. Another Imbosing up here. This is the Legend. Next up, we have Invincible Protector for the... Uh, Outlanders, which is that purple and orange colorway. Yeah, see, look, it's it's kind of like dusty looking, like kind of sand looking. So it's not super crazy, but it's there, right? We have the Invincible Leader 3 symbol. We have a pattern. Uh, a couple of these patterns I feel like aren't too crazy. I feel like they're going for like body paint maybe, but it just, you know, it's there. <laughs> uh, Invincible Protector, of course, this is for the Vikings orange and purple colorway. I mean, the purple's pretty cool. I do like that. Very like Saints Row purple. Invincible Leader, very simplistic. I mean, that's the same clock that they use for most of the samurai anyways. Uh, Invincible Leader symbol, right? We get the embosing up here. We have a XP boost. Invincible Leader, ooh, I do like this color though. It looks nice with the one I chose. You know, I'm, maybe there's exceptions here and there, right? But majority of these are just kind of simplistic. I mean, Med J looks like what he wears anyways. Um, but I know someone out there is going to be a fan of it. Someone's favorite color combination is purple and orange. So shout out to you. Um, yeah, look. It's the same color they use for a lot of the samurai. Anyways. Next up, we have the Wu Lin faction. They get the invincible uh, Ying Zhong. I believe is how you say that. I am not a scientist. So do not come for me. Uh, it's like a deer with like straight antlers. Um, I'm sure there's a name for that. Maybe it's like an antelope. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, bro. Pretty cool, though. I do like how they did a lot of these weapons. A lot of them really stand out. This one, I feel like Shaolin is very kind of set on uh, their designs that they could do, right? They don't want to change up too much and make it like a not staff. So I see why they go for more like similar designs with a lot of the battle passes, but I feel like they could explore just a little bit, right? This one looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. I do like the, the hook up here. Looks nice. Yeah, see, like, look at this. The blade is phenomenal. I do like the colors that they chose, right? Still kind of, like, battle-worn. Ooh, but this one has, like, a Nimbus cloud at the end for the spike. 
really nice. Dang, yeah, very artsy. Look at those different colors. Beautiful, that's for the Wu Lin faction. We got some more steel up there. We have a symbol right here. We have an embossing over here. This is for the shield. And uh, yeah, a couple of these work. I look, uh, look like Neytiri from Avatar. Some more colors. We got a scavenger crate, finally. And an execution effect, right? This is the Invincible Voyager. Looks pretty cool. Now, I like this. They, they pair it, right? This is the emo effect. You also get the idol effect. And then, of course, the execution effect. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. Nice. And then it flows through all out. Yeah. Now, the picture for the season is actually Valkyrie, bro. And they make it look so cool. Look at that. Yeah, it looks better in the drawing, but... Dang, if that doesn't look good. One more time. Mop. Beautiful. We also get the Invincible Leader 1 symbol. This is for the entirety of the cast in the game. And at the very end, the Outlanders. Man, they need to move them first. They need to do an Outlander season. I think they will next season, actually. I think they're going to be adding a new Outlander. So we'll have our fifth Outlander, which is going to be crazy to even think about. I'm excited for that, though. It's going to be very cool. I wonder who it's going to be. I'm saying a Spartan. I'm calling it right now. It's got to be like a Spartan character. This is for the Knights. We have our Invincible Impavidum. Uh, uh, uh. And for them, they get a uh, they get a lion, which looks really cool. I do love the red that runs through the blade. And then there's like a bloody tip at the end. Now, um, I'm kind of led to believe that this is actually like a mana core. Just because there's a lot of like wing stuff, right? And then for a couple of the ones that you will see at the end, it actually has a scorpion tail. So I believe this is more of like a manticore. See, look how they do it with the wings right there. Looks beautiful. Yeah, the shields, you can't go wrong with the shields. The shields, bucklers, they all look phenomenal. I do like the, the guard, the blade guard, or I guess it's a handle guard, right? I do like how the guard on the side is the wings. Yeah, see, look at this shield. Black Prior, I mean, always has the best shields. But, yeah, look, it has a scorpion tail that goes down and hugs, like, one of the swords. And then there's a bunch of other broken swords. Man, this looks so cool. I do like the squiggly blade on a lot of these, too. But, I mean, Black Prior probably has the best set, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Griffin, you guys can actually see the scorpion tail at the very bottom of the blade. So, Griffin, you know, they have a lot of room to execute their vision. Yeah, look at the pommel, too. It's a full scorpion tail. Looks pretty good. I wish it stood out more in color, but, um, you know, I mean, they, they want to keep this somewhat historically close, right? So, um, majority of the time, they won't stick out too much with the colors. Yeah, look, they have a full 3D lion for Lawbringer. You can see his scorpion tail wraps around the very bottom, and then it goes to the red scorpion tip. Looks really cool. It's a stinger. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Lawbringer, one of the best weapon sets. Conqueror. Small little round lion that is pretty cute. Yeah. And then the shield. Yeah. It's a shrunken down version of the Black Prior one. Not as cool, but still very cool. Right? We got some more weapons, some colors, all that stuff. More steel. Very much needed. Scavenger chest, bro. I feel like they're rationing around here, bro. If they don't add some more. More colors. These are all the same that you've been seeing. We have our dance party. This is the emote. I didn't know how to, uh, <laughs> I didn't know how to music. This is the dance party paired emote. So goofy. Man, if they hit that on my dead body after I lose a 1v2, I'm gonna be so salty, bro. Can't even lie. Three days champion status halfway through the battle pass. Next up, we have the Invincible Takumashi. Really cool set. This is for the samurai. They went with like a kitsune fox, right? It does have like the nine tails around it too, which is really cool. Uh, I believe the white and gold colors are very like synonymous with uh, the sun god Amaterasu in Japanese mythology. So looks really cool, right? You guys see that spirit, very happy, very vibrant, very uh, sun related. You will see in a couple of these, it has like a red sun behind the fox itself. And it's always like smiling, which is really cool. You know, gives off that sun vibe, right? That one's really cool. And you see that in like murals. Yeah, look, I like how they made it different too for Shinobi's left and right um sickles you know change it up a bit added the sun on that one 
This one's kind of just chilling. Very cool. Yeah, a lot of these, like, look at that. That hilt is beautiful. Very nice. Man, Hidokiri. Probably getting the best out of the samurai for a majority of the battle passes. Like I said, it's the same thing with Griffin. They just get a lot of room for execution of their uh, ideas, right? Like, you see all of the tails going around. Uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's nine tails. Very cool. Yeah, look at this. They have the clouds for, like, the detailing, too. Ooh, and then the pommel is like a little flame, a little spirit. Really cool. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, Kyoshin's has is pretty cool, too. Pretty cool. Dang, yeah, I like that. Look. Look at all that detailing. I mean, the detailing, even though it's like the same color as the actual scabbard, it just looks nice, bro. They just made it look so cool. And then the whole fox going across it. I will say Sohei probably has the best one in the samurai, with Hito probably being a close second. Man, look at this, though. The cross on it, right? It's the full 3D fox. They have the front of it. The back goes on to two tails. And then the remainder of the tails go up to the very top. It just looks so nice. The detailing, right? They do have, like, that mural fox at the bottom, too. And then the blade. So everything, it's all in one. For Nobushi, I do like this. I like the curve at the very end. Like, the, the shape of this blade just looks really cool. Yeah. Nobushi gets some really cool stuff, but, I mean, the, the whole shaft pause is just so thin that uh, majority of the time you won't really notice it in-game other than the colors and the basic outlines. Um, but it's really cool. They went off with the Shigoki one. I will say the blades, I feel like maybe they could have went where it's, like, nine individual blades for the different tails. That could have been really cool, you know? Uh, but I like this. This this is cool nonetheless. I do like how the tails go off into the top and turn into 3D as opposed to just like a um, a pattern on top of it, you know, so It is really cool the fox around it and then you have the little flames really cool. A lot of these are really nice Some more champion status Dance party man that is disrespectful <laughs> Invincible spirit. This is an embosing. Ooh, I do like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like it's going to pop off on the Samurai, you know? Some new colors. Finally, Invincible Leader 2. This is a blue, turquoise, and like a pale purple. Lavender? Is that what that is? Invincible Jarl, or Jarl. I believe it's Jarl, like in Skyrim. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Red and, like, purple. Maybe it's like a blue. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Some more steel. Dang, this is a long battle pass, ain't it? We're gonna try to fly through the rest of this battle pass because I feel like I'm taking forever. Look at the grand idea though, right? So this is the ornament, Invincible Greatness. Looks pretty cool. This does not change depending on each faction, but the colors do change, which is really cool. For the Outlanders, uh, it's a mix of a bunch of different things. For Pirate, it looks like they went with the Wu Lin design, which is really cool. Yeah, it's like a, I don't even know what type of animal that is. I wanna say it's a deer, but look at the antlers. I'm sure there's a name for it. Next up, we have the Medjay. Ooh, they went straight to the Sphinx, which, you know, I can appreciate because <laughs> it looks really cool. Beautiful weapon. I feel like if you use Medjay at all, this is a go-to. You have to have this weapon. Ooh, yeah, look at this for Afira. I don't know what that, that mythical creature is called, but uh, you do see it in a lot of Middle Eastern countries, so really cool look to it. Very nice. For us and law, I don't really know what they were going for here. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I do see it's kind of like I don't know what even is that? It's like a rat maybe. <laughs> I feel like they really could have gone with an an ocelot or a jaguar. They could have gone with a snake or an eagle. Um, they chose like this rat thing. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a cool design for like the spikes. I do like this like fang appearance that they have for for the blades for the the shards um, and the yeah, you know, the design is pretty cool for the shaft boss, but for the rest of it, eh, 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 50-50, half hit, half miss, Invincible Yarrow, yeah, I do like that blue color, and with the red, look like a red, white, and blue popsicle, those are pretty cool, Invincible Greatness, this is for the ornament, for the knights, some more of that color, ooh, pretty cool. 
Yeah, and then for the rest of it, majority of it's the same, right? For the rest of the battle pass, I do want to speed through this because we do also have a legacy pass. Um, but you guys get the gist of majority of this stuff, right? So you see the different colors, you see the different uh, outfits. A lot of these ornaments are the same. And then at the very end, you get the outline. This is for the emblem customization. Not a lot of people really pay attention to that stuff, but if you do, um, I think that's one of the better ones. Last but not least, we have the Invincible Creator. This is a effect, of course, for the idol execution and emote. Ooh, that looks so cool. I didn't even notice it has like one eye missing with the flame effect coming off of it. Yeah, really cool. Dang, that looks great. I mean, for the Vikings, obviously, it's gonna be top tier. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I do like the effect in the background, the Aurora Borealis that we get. Yeah, I can work on the Knights, but I mean, it's for the Vikings, so makes sense. 2,000 steel and seven days worth of champion status. Last but not least, let's move on over to the Legacy Pass. I know this is a long video, so we're gonna try to speed up this process. Let's get into it. We have the Dawn Sylvan. This is the idle effect, of course. You also get emo and execution. Uh, it's kind of like a tree spirit. It looks really cool, and the antlers are ginormous. You also get leaves on the shoulders, which does look pretty cool. Uh, and the colors are cool. This is the dawn, right? We also do get a dusk one later on, which is like a orange color for the leaves. Uh, we're going to speed through this. I'm going to be honest, for the weapon sets, a lot of these don't really pique my interest. Majority of these don't. Um, this is the basic idea of it. It's green. It has an orange jewel somewhere. And then the rest of it's like a silver or gray color. Um, yeah, not a lot of it's like super flashy, I feel like. And a lot of it just reflects that light like crazy. Yeah, like it's like white and green. A lot of it, like, I get the idea, and same thing as earlier, it does, like, make sense on paper, but the execution of it is just not as flashy as you would hope for it to be, so it kind of loses points in, like, uh, flashiness, you know? Uh, Sylvan Worshipper is, like, a green color, oops, and then the other one, this is up here, the Chimera Resolve, is, like, red and black. Focus on the red, though, which is pretty cool. The Gormengander gets a pretty decent weapon. I do like the leaves, I will say. Like, a lot of these, uh, the shafts and the handles paws will get, like, a leaf design to it somewhere. So, I do appreciate that. Like, you see the very bottom of it, that pommel, that spike. It is a leaf. So, that's cool. But, majority of the rest of it, like, the colors aren't too flashy. Um, the weapon sets aren't the greatest. Very basic, I feel like. Um, so, you know, I, I think I'm gonna skip on this. I think my wallet's safe for the legacy set. I will say the effect is cool, though, but, you know, I have a lot of other effects for a lot of other characters, so it's not like I'm in need of one. Um, however, this is a great battle pass, you know? I will say that, like, for honor, for Ubisoft being as money-hungry as they usually are, the battle passes are usually a really good idea. If you want to just spend $10, you will get a weapon set for just about every single individual character in the game. You will get a outfit, uh, you know, execution, idol, and um, emote effect as well. Majority of the time, they are on the same level as Illustrious outfit. So, majority of the time, right? They will be really good. I do say majority of the time because not all the time are they, like, super crazy. You guys see for this Legacy Pass, like, it just uh, doesn't hit as hard as I hoped for it would. We also get a signature here. This is a Sylvan Rose, which you get a little rose to spawn. Which is pretty cool. Not as cool as last season. I think last season's Legacy Pass was really cool. Definitely worth it. Uh, we got the Sylvan Bonsai for the Samurai. Yeah, pretty cool. But the rest of these weapon sets, yeah, they're they're, they're here. Sylvan Bamboo. I believe this is for the Wu Lin specifically. Nice. Yeah, look at these. And the Sylvan Brew for the Vikings. Of course, <laughs> that's what you would expect. Nice, yeah. A couple of these are cool. Like I, I like the handle for that. Yeah. I don't know what this aesthetic is called. I know there's a word for it. Eh, not the coolest. We got our amulet, though. Dang, that looks pretty cool, though, I will say. I kind of wish that the face was different for this, this effect, this outfit. Uh, for the Sylvan, you know, I, I feel like they could have popped off with it, but they, they they held back a little bit for some reason. This is the Dusk Sylvan. You get that orange look. Nice, you get like a little grunt effect for it too. When it leaves, it has like that leaf flying away. The leaves. 
the leaves. <laughs> they have the leaves leaving. Pretty cool. Dusk Sylvan for this. Pretty cool. Um, kind of looks like Tear from God of War in a weird way. If that makes sense. I mean, it's the same all throughout. I believe the colors stay the same. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah, a lot of these weapon sets aren't the best. Maybe they don't change color. Yeah, see? And then last one, we got Sylvan Metamorphosis. Now, this is only for the execution effect. Um, ooh, this emblem. Customization is really cool, though. But yeah, look at this. Oh, that's why. It's, a, it's an actual execution. I'm dumb. Yeah, that's really cool. See that perspective. Yeah, so last season we got the... It was like Horkos uh, Pharmacy or whatever it was called. Yeah, we got some seven days of champion status with that. So, yeah, execution's pretty cool. Um, Turn him into a tree. Pretty disrespectful. Let him think about it for a couple hundred years. <laughs> pretty cool. And for the rest of this, right? So we do get... Um, for like the newer characters that missed out in year four... They have updated this. They usually add on to a lot of these. So really cool. Black and red for this, right? You get the Sylvan Amulet um, at the end, which is really weird. So if you play Griffin, Kyoshin, Pirate, Medjay, Afira, Austin Law, Varangian, or Sohei, you'll have to wait till the end. So suck it, all the Griffins. That's what you deserve. You have to wait till the end. <laughs> for the rest of these, all right, you do get like the look for it. Um, everything that everyone else got in the rest of the battle pass. Yeah, that's for the free pass. You get those. And then for the remainder of them, you will get this down here. Um, really cool how they do this, right? Make sure no one's left behind. That's when they get all of this stuff. Turn them into a tree. Yeah, looks really cool. Um, I will say this looks cool, but the Sylvan Botany color is really nice. I do like that green color. And you also got a signature. Sylvan Rose. I don't know if everyone gets a different one. Like, I know Afira gets the rose. What does Ocelot get? Um, did I skip it? Oh, also, yeah, like, look, the leaves right there. Oh, it's cool. I, I, I do appreciate that, but, you know, uh, if they would have added this when Ocelot came out, I would have stared at it in complete confusion. Like, what is this? This does not fit Ocelot. In the nearest, you know? Yeah, so it looks like he gets a rose as well. I'm assuming everyone else does. And that's it for this very lengthy Battle Pass presentation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That is it for this brand new season. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about the brand new Battle Passes, right? Three in total. One normal Battle Pass, one Legacy Battle Pass. And then, of course, we get the Event Battle Pass. So let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments down below. My name is King Kwadal. Please have an amazing day. Of course, if you guys are new, subscribe today. Join the Aztec Empire. And, um... You know, happy hunting. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Adios. And, of course, until next time. Bye-bye, y'all.